Welcome back to day five here on the Norwegian Prima. It's another sea day. We're getting closer to hitting all the islands. After this, we'll be hitting up Aruba, Bonaire, Carousel, all back to back. But today for the sea day, we're gonna be checking out the Galaxy Pavilion, which is the VR like gaming area. And then after that, it's kind of up in the air. Might do the water slide, go-karts. We'll see where the day takes us. Okay, so we started our day off at the Galaxy Pavilion. You get to walk through the super cool hallway in order to get there. Now, let's go on a quick little tour. In the far right-hand corner is the VR maze. I highly recommend that one, super fun. Then you'll see the iconic truck that's advertised everywhere online. Well, unfortunately, that was broken the entire two week long cruise, so I never got to test it out. You'll also see the Top Golf Simulator right there. Don't do it, I didn't do it, didn't see anyone else do it. It was $55 per person, so it's way too expensive and not worth it. Now, as far as the pricing goes for all the other rides, it's $8 per ride or $29 for an entire hour of time. Definitely do that one hour package. That's what we did. You just take your card, scan it, and run through as many rides as you can. And then the other rides I recommend doing are the VR spaceship vehicle, this game right here where you hop in that crate and shoot with a gun, and then also the Formula F1 racing. That's been our tour. Now let's go play. just wrapped up the Galaxy Pavilion VR video game area. On a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give it a seven. Some of the rides were fun, some of them not so much. The big truck ride was broken, that's pretty disappointing. But if you're on the ship, I would definitely try it out. Would I do it again personally? Yeah, probably not. After that, I made my way over to deck 18 to go ride the go-karts. It's $15 per person and it's 100% worth it. to the room after all that i think it's time to go get some lunch so i actually ended up here at indulge for lunch this is a completely free dining option and it was one of my favorites basically the best way to explain this it's like one big food court with a bunch of different restaurants and then they all specialize in their own dishes so when you first sit down the way the system works there's an ipad right there for you you click through all the different restaurants then add to cart which items you want you place that order there's a number in the top left of your ipad so then the waiter knows where to come and they'll bring the food straight to you. As you can see, I went with the pesto chicken, a salad, and then a side of chips and guac. Let's eat. Okay, so hear me out on this one. After lunch, I decided to check out the rush and drop slide. And man, when the ship first came out, they were hyping these bad boys up. And man, was this thing slow. Here's me going down the rush slide, and it was so slow, I didn't even make it to the end. I had to crawl out the rest of the tunnel. But it makes no sense because I have a shorts video. Make sure to go check out that POV. On the second to last day of the cruise, I was flying down that sucker. So I don't know if they waxed it up because people were complaining or what happened. And then also here's me going down the drop slide. I also have a shorts video of a POV. Make sure to go check that out. Uh, this thing was terrible. It sucked. Make sure to go see why. So if you're looking for a dry slide, you're definitely gonna have to go on Royal Caribbean and go down that great abyss because you're not gonna find it here with Norwegian. But anyways, tomorrow we'll be in Aruba, so make sure to like and subscribe.